Thanks for joining us. Today we are going to answer the most frequent questions in chiller type units. Let us begin. Question 1. What does a chiller do? A chiller is a chiller that is used to generate ice water, which can be used, for example to provide air conditioning in buildings. Question 2. Why use chiller? A. In large buildings, the cold generation is centralized in a single point. B. By concentrating the generation of cold, the need for a large number of air conditioning equipment is avoided. C. The need for electrical and power connections throughout the building is avoided. D. Having less equipment reduces the chances of failure. E. Excess ducts are avoided throughout all the premises. F. The distribution of the low temperature is carried out by means of pipe networks that carry the ice water to all the premises of the building. G. If the selection of the chiller is adequate, it can generate quite interesting efficiency values. Question 3. How is the traditional chiller? The traditional chiller consists of a compression refrigeration circuit with the four basic components, plus the water distribution. A. Evaporator. B. Condenser. C. Compressor. D. Expansion device. E. Water distribution system. Question 4. How does the chiller work internally? A. The refrigerant inside the refrigeration circuit passes through the evaporator, where it is at low pressure and low temperature, in this way it can cool and generate ice water. B. The ice water passes through the evaporator, to cool down, but never mixes with the refrigeration circuit. C. The ice water is directed to the building, and cools the premises. D. The refrigerant inside the refrigeration circuit, leaves the evaporator with the heat that was removed from the ice water, and enters the compressor. E. The refrigerant gets pressure in the compressor, to be taken to the condenser. F. In the condenser, the heat that was removed to the ice water is lost. G. The refrigerant passes through the expansion device, to lower its pressure and become cold again. H. The refrigerant enters the evaporator and the cycle is repeated. Question 5. What are the types of chillers? By the type of condenser cooling, we can classify them into A. Chiller with air cooled condenser. B. Chiller with condenser cooled with fresh water. Question 6. How does the air cooled chiller work? A. The traditional chiller has a compression refrigeration circuit, where the heat needs to be dissipated in the condenser. B. When the chiller is air-cooled, powerful fans are needed in the condenser to help release the heat, which was removed to the ice water. Question 7. How does the water-cooled chiller work? A. The traditional chiller has a compression refrigeration circuit, where the heat from the condenser needs to be dissipated. B. When the chiller is cooled by water, an additional fresh water circuit is needed, passing through the condenser, to help release the heat, which was removed from the ice water. C. In these equipments there are two totally different water circuits. D. There is an ice water circuit to cool the premises of the building, and a fresh water circuit to cool the chiller condenser. Question 8. Where are the air conditioning chillers located? The chiller can be located in the basement or up on the roof of the building. Question 9. How is ice water produced? A. The ice water is produced in the evaporator of the refrigeration circuit. B. Usually the ice water leaves the chiller at a temperature of 7 degrees Celsius. Question 9. What do you do with ice water? A. A centrifugal type pump sends the ice water around the building. B. Chilled water enters the air handling units, to cool the air of the premises within the building. Question 10. What do air handling units do? A. They are responsible by means of coils, to remove the heat from the air inside the building, using the ice water from the chillers. B. The management unit totally conditions the air, mixes it, moistens or dehumidifies it and adapts it to the needs within the building. Question 11. How is the air cooled in the air handler unit? A. The chilled water from the chiller is passed through coils through which the air flows that need to be cooled pass. B. Water enters the AMU at a temperature of 7 degrees Celsius, 44 Fahrenheit and exits at 12 degrees, 54 Fahrenheit. 
See, meanwhile the air notably lowers its temperature, thereby air conditioning the building. Question 12. What do you do with the ice water coming out of the air handler unit? A. When the ice water leaves the air handling unit, it comes out with a higher temperature, a product of the cooling carried out in the air, usually 12 degrees Celsius, 54 Fahrenheit. B. The water should be brought back to the chiller to cool down again, and brought back to 7 degrees Celsius, 44 Fahrenheit. Question 13. What happens to the ice water again when it comes out of the chiller? A. When the water comes out of the chiller, it will have given up the heat gained in the air handling unit. B. The ice water will return to 7 degrees Celsius, 44 Fahrenheit. Question 14. How is the working cycle of the chilled water in the chiller installation? A. The cycle repeats and repeats, the water comes out of the chiller at 7 degrees Celsius, 44 Fahrenheit. B. The water is directed to the air handler unit and gains 5 degrees Celsius, 10 Fahrenheit. C. The water returns to the chiller at 12 degrees Celsius, 54 Fahrenheit. D. The water comes out of the chiller again at 7 degrees Celsius, 44 Fahrenheit. Question 16. What does the heat received in the condenser of a water-cooled chiller do? A. The heat from the condenser is sent to another water circuit at room temperature. B. Water at room or cool temperature belongs to a totally different circuit, to the ice water circuit. C. The new heat exchange with the new water circuit, we will call it the exchange of the fresh water circuit. Question 17. How does the fresh water circuit of the water-cooled chiller condenser work? A. There is a new centrifugal pump station, which we will call cooling tower pumps. C. The water is carried through the circuit, towards the cooling tower. Question 18. What is a cooling tower? A. The cooling tower is the point where air from the outside environment is forced into the tower. B. The tower uses a powerful internally located fan. C. The air inside the tower dissipates and rejects the heat of the water that has just cooled the condenser. Question 19. How many exchanges do we have, in the installation with chiller cooled with fresh water? We have four heat exchanges. A. Heat exchange of the chilled water with the internal air of the premises, to cool the air of the building. B. Heat exchange of the refrigerant within the refrigeration circuit, to generate the ice water. C. Heat exchange of the refrigerant of the refrigeration circuit, with the fresh water circuit, to send the heat of the condenser refrigerant to the environment. D. Heat exchange of the fresh water, with the outside air, to cool the fresh water.